there's like a lot of people over there waiting and then they're just waiting for like these restaurants on these river riverside has like these tables that you can look out but it's pretty cold so all right so today i thought we're gonna go to naka nakanoshima park and we're in like we're kind of close to umeda so we're kind of in the business district but we're trying to get over it's like in between it's inside it's in between the river so it's like there's a bridge but in between the river there's like a park and um i saw that it looked really nice so we're gonna go check it out today and today i'm with my girlfriend as well too so it's a saturday afternoon and they're going to um lock things down tomorrow so all businesses will be closed by um by tomorrow to may 11 so yeah i'm not sure what i'm gonna do um because um if businesses are closed is closed i can't really make any videos but um oh that's the public city city hall over there not public city hall i forgot what it's called but we should go there first all right we're gonna check that out then we're gonna go to the park all right so this is the um children's library and it looks like there's a long line i think it's gonna be open soon but um it looks pretty pretty new but yeah so this place is called the um osaka central public hall and i think it's been here for a long time and it has a lot of historical um historical i don't know what you would say but it's been here for a long time but um i don't know if you can go inside it looks like it's closed but the reason i wanted to come is that there's a rose garden in between this um this river and then alongside it is there's like a park there's um a library so i thought maybe it's a cool place to check out and you see a lot of people out here there's a restaurant that's pretty cool so right now um what's happening right now is they're gonna have a third lockdown in um, japan and tokyo kyoto osaka and many other cities and so they're gonna close everything down tomorrow which they haven't done yet because i don't think even in the first lockdown they didn't close down businesses but this one they're gonna really close down everything and i will probably make a future video maybe like um tomorrow on the update about this whole virus thing and everything that's going on so um yeah so i don't know what i'm gonna do because once things are closed i can't really go into stores and stuff because they're closed and i think a lot of people judging by the comments and the people that watch these videos they really like when i go into things go into stores into buildings and stuff like that and i enjoy doing that too so we'll see what we can do we'll we'll see what we can improvise but it's really nice it's a really nice day it's really hot it's warm yeah and there's have there's some people taking some wedding photos in the winter time this whole building lights up and this is like a really nice up and coming not up and coming but nice ritzy like um area um because it is like where all the business and, and businesses and offices are so. so these guys are doing some wedding photos the lighting is not that great but i'm sure they she has a flash so it's pretty cool i think it'd be better if she took the night photos um i think they would come out a lot better but it, this place is probably not even lit at night so yeah i don't think we can go inside it looks like there's cars i don't know if this is something that you can go inside of and like have things but let me just check and see so this goes all the way down people are walking down this um street it's pretty nice i, I feel like if you lived in this area it would be really nice as well a lot of history i don't know if i can go inside this building but there's cars outside osaka city central public hall the osaka Cent city central public hall first saw the light of day in 1911 thanks to iwamoto inosuke who generously donated 1 million yen for its construction but what is this building very high shapes which was born in a western architect this is a public hall made of red bricks and is loved and considered one of the most valued buildings in Osaka in 1988 it was decided to preserve it forever and in an attempt to make a better use of it they started refurbishing the building in 1999 
According to the first description, the style of building is considered to be based on new Renaissance style. The appearance is basically symmetrical. The rigid structure also has the elegance of bar Baroque architecture exemplified in the magnificent semis. All right, that's too much. Okay. Yeah. Don't tell me what that building is about. But, um, I don't know. There's, there's, all the doors are closed, but is there a restaurant inside as well oh there is that's pretty cool you can eat here so i guess you can't go inside the building but you can eat in the basement and it looks pretty good they got all sorts of stuff they got steak they got omur omur rice they got salad they got cake that looks good oh they're having a wedding Taking wedding photos. All right, let's just check it out real quick. Oh, there's like three restaurants. There's one right here, one right here, one right there. Look at these old automatic doors. All right, we're gonna go inside. Whoa. There's an ex exhibition this place has three floors it's interesting i hope it's not too dark it smells really old an old hospital <laughs> it, it, it looks like that. <laughs> well, it, it's more scary because there's nobody here. Look at these doors. It's high arches. How come there's nobody here? I feel like there'd be a vampire or somebody. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, I'm sure they use this space for something. Wow, it reminds me of my old elementary school. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> they even have nets, so nobody jumps. It's interesting. All right. They said there was an exhibition room, but what are they exhibiting? Alright, here's the uh, scary hallway where they have red rum, red rum. But um, this is the second floor and there's some sort of like theater room with the main hall. Alright, I think there's three floors in total. This is the other staircase. We came from the other stairwell. Also has a net. Well, they're having a wedding in here. So, I think they were taking just wedding photos in there, and then I just kind of poked my head in there. But what's going on? I think they're having like several weddings because it seems like they're having like a party over there and then there's another area where they're taking pictures another bride and groom so all right so I think um, 
I, I, I originally thought like I could just go in there and there'd be like some like exhibits and stuff but it's just an old building and um, it seems like a lot of people are just getting married in them I think I've seen three different couples and um, two couples were taking pictures and the other one was having the wedding on the top so we're gonna check out this library that's nearby and I just wanted to see what a uh, Japanese library looks like maybe you guys might be interested in too. but look at these buildings these are also old as well I'm not sure if this is part of the library got some like cool bonsai trees outside all right so this is Osaka City Hall and then we have the library on this side I'm not sure if you can go in because they have like all these um, ropes and stuff but it's supposed to, it said it's closed at five I don't know what's happening did you just go through the middle this, this will come out oh okay it's the exit all right so we got this small door that's um, I believe it's the entrance I mean it's a library so whoa they got like sinks on the outside to wash your hands. Thirty-six degrees. I feel like I'm going inside of a jail cell. Oh, look at this place. This place must be so old. actual library is but uh, it's pretty cool this dome this dome shaped thing here all right all right what is this oh, out of breath walking up those stairs Seems like some old maps that they used to have. Ah, this is from 2009. Interesting. 2009. So I don't know what year is this, but this is probably what it looked like a long time ago. This pretty cool bridge thing is it's pretty cool. I'm assuming this is like a, a model, but these houses look like American houses. <laughs> Why? Oh, maybe because they're colonial houses. Maybe when they're um, maybe foreigners that settled here. I don't know. There's no sign or anything. Oh. That's true. That's probably where. Ah, uh, there's some paper here. There's some paperwork here. But it's all in Japanese. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot of foreigners that used to live here, like this man. And they just probably lived here near the city hall, which is probably convenient for them. That's pretty cool, though. Like, they had, these guys had, like, huge yards. And then the Japanese people had, like, a little bit of farming in their houses. It's pretty cool. This is the memorial room. I'm assuming they did some some business in here it's pretty cool it's pretty cool you can just come in and walk through and through these little rooms the windows open now obviously these windows are more modern but they got the radiator it's pretty cool i don't know what kind of room this is but Of computers as well to like maybe find some things all right so they have actual books here now but it doesn't seem like they have a lot of books I think they just have a lot of old books this 
library seems very empty. I mean, yeah, I think you know what? I think they just have like older books here, right? It seems like this library doesn't have that many books. Hmm. They got like these cheap, cheap metal stalls. Yeah, these books look really old. This view though, the river. Some more older books. Alright, so I'm not sure if you found that interesting. Um, I thought I thought the other public um, hall was pretty interesting, but there wasn't really much to look at. And um, yeah, I thought they would have more books, judging by the bookstores that they have in Japan. But it just seemed like they just had books like that maybe people need to do um, if they not people need to do but if people had like research to do and they need to find out some sort of like old history historical facts that maybe the regular libraries don't have but um, what do you think about this library was it good yeah but I mean that the, the architecture was pretty nice do you think people will like this video is, I don't know it might be a little bit boring maybe mm -hmm. well anyways that's a one video <laughs> because um, I'm gonna go out to this park right here and then I'm gonna make that into a separate video and then do some other things today so um, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me um, to both of these places and um, thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>